In this video series, I'm going to document my journey moving my music from a muse over to distro kid. Let's go. In this first video, I'll be removing some of the songs here on my Amuse account. Now, Amuse is a free online music distribution platform. It's actually very cool. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using it. But because I use DistroKid for the vast majority of my music distribution, there's a couple of songs on here that I would actually like to move across. The primary one being this, my song Goats. Now, originally I released this under the name Fear Cut and using Amuse. My other artist names over on DistroKid are Pete Johns and Righty Doki. So I would actually like to move this over to DistroKid and I'm still deciding whether I put it under Pete Johns or I bring the Fear Cut name over with me. But the first thing I need to do is actually get this song and one of my other songs here, uh, this one here, What You Deserve Removed from Amuse. So let's show you how to do that now. So one of the coolest things about Amuse is it has a really good mobile app that lets you do a lot of things, including releasing your music as well as removing your music. So that's what we're going to start with here. Let's start with goats. This is the one that's the most important one. The reason I want to remove it, another reason is that Amuse, back in the day, the free version had YouTube content ID. So every time I use this song in a YouTube video, I get a content ID claim from myself. So I would like to actually remove it so that doesn't happen anymore. So the first thing we need to do here is start noting down some information here. So I'm going to grab all the details here, the name of the single, the name of the artist, which I know is Fear Cut, the UPC code here, which I need to grab. I'm going to copy down the release ID and the label and the release date here because if I do re-release this, I want all of this to match up. The point there being is that if I recreate this as Fear Cut and Goats, I should be able to use this information over on DistroKid to tell it to link this and then I might be able to keep playlist placements and streams and all the rest of it. The other important bit of information we need is over in here. So if I tap on this button here, it is this number here. This is the most important number of all. It's the ISRC. So this ISRC code is the universal code that's used by all platforms and all distributors to identify this song. So I'm going to grab all of this information and note this down first because once I remove this, yeah, you're not going to be able to access that information anymore. So get all this info down. That's what I'm going to do now. Take some screenshots, do whatever you need to do, and then we'll move on to the next step. So we'll go back to the main screen here just to show the whole process. We'll scroll on down, we'll tap on goats, and we'll scroll down again. This is the button we need to use, the take down release. So I'm going to hit the take down button and it's going to drop us into this form. Now, this is where the process gets a little bit clunky because this is a Google Doc. This is a Google Doc form that we need to fill in to request that this song be taken down. So it's one of those things where the process to upload a song is super automated and super simple. The process to take down a song a little bit more manual and clunky, but we're gonna go ahead and complete this form and get our songs removed. Now, as you can see here, there's some important information here. You can't take down one song from an EP or an album. You have to take down the whole release. Now, thankfully, I've only released these songs as singles, so that won't be a problem here, but there's some more information there and a support article if you need to find more information about changing your release or why you should and shouldn't complete a takedown request. Let's scroll down and check out the form. What we need to do here first is say yes we've read the information and we're going to proceed to the next step first question we get why do we want to take it down so for us it's going to be this one switching distributor next up we can choose whether we want to take it down from all stores or just selected stores we're going to go yes from all stores and hit next now it's pre-populated my email address in the bit above there and it's asked me is this the same email address as the amuse account it is so i'm going to click on yes there it's pre-populated the release id here of the song that I'm in here. So I'm just going to do this for goats this time around, which I need to enter in here. So for whatever reason, it hasn't pre-populated those. So I've had to put the name of the release and my artist name there, which are required. And it's asked if I'm 100% super duper okie dokie sure, which I am. So I'm going to click on this button and we're going to submit. And uh, hopefully this will get us on our way to removing this song. 
there you have the final screen. You can pause and read that information, but basically it's saying it'll take a couple of days. If it hasn't removed it from the app within five days, submit a new form. Look, it's not the most um, amazing process in the world by the looks of things. We're going to hit the done button on that one and we're going to jump back out here. So what I'll be doing from here is monitoring this situation and when you see us next, when we rejoin you, it will be in five days time where I'll be checking the process of this takedown and we'll see what has happened to this song, Goats, here in Amuse.